in all kinds of weather with all ages in gear. Western New York is on the move. I just ran a 32 mile ultra on Sunday. I uh, took a couple days off and back out here again doing it. But will all this movement lead to physical trouble down the road? I actually went to a doctor who told me to just take it easy, but he didn't tell me to stop. Um, I went to the doctors and they didn't, they diagnosed me with something I can't pronounce, but they told me to stop running. I didn't listen. And you're out here. I'm out here still running. Almost every runner has heard warnings about what they could be doing to their knees. But people always tell me all the time, oh, be careful of your knees. You know, you, 10 years from now, you may not be walking or need a knee replacement. Dr. Michael Friedis, a sports medicine specialist, knows about knees. And I get asked all the time from patients, hey, I want to run. Am I going to hurt my knees by running? The best data that we have says probably not. Is it going to give you arthritis? Probably not. In fact, Dr. Friedis says recent studies show running may actually be beneficial for your knees provided you start with healthy knees and follow some guidelines. If you have a knee that has some arthritis in it, you may want to think of less impact activities as a way to stay fit. Dr. Friedis is a former runner with his own knee problems. He's learned a lot and has these suggestions for keeping your knees healthy. He says, first and foremost, get in condition. Prepare your body. Experienced runners know it takes time. A lot of uh, delicate pacing, building your base, not going out too hard, not going out too fast, taking adequate rest. Dr. Friedis also suggests getting the proper footwear. Get a fitting from someone with experience and choose a running surface with give to it. Concrete is a poor choice because you want your knees to last. You've been running 45 years, yeah. and, and how do your knees feel tonight? Not bad, not bad, as long as I keep my feet straight. That's right, pay attention to your form. The way your foot hits the pavement can make all the difference. We want to take them away from this traditional way that runners like to run, which is a heel-toe type mentality. Steve Gonzer is a physical therapist, partner in Buffalo Rehab Group, and runner who showed us how he works with clients. He uses video like this to demonstrate the impact of your foot hitting the ground and a better way to distribute the force away from your knees. Instead, if we can get them to come through, point the foot straight ahead and actually land on a soft knee, it takes the force of landing and spreads it out over a longer period of time and definitely takes that force away from the knee. Gonzer, who has run numerous marathons, says it's just not true that running ruins your knees. There's been plenty of studies that show People who run are no, at no more risk for knee injury than people who don't run. And he points to what he calls the three biggest threats to healthy knees. Previous surgery or injury, not enough activity, and obesity. So Western New York is on the move with runners who are determined to keep lifting those knees and running away from trouble. I feel better running. Um, and I finally told myself, I want to keep moving. And when I moved, I felt better. and. I'm still going. I've been on both sides. I've been the patient, and that's part of what led me to become the, the doctor who can now help people try to exercise and, and enjoy their life, yeah. I just said I'm the only person we know that's never taken a Motrin. No Motrin, no Aleve, no Advil, none of that stuff. You're amazing. <laughs> well, I just keep running.